Hey, good morning. It's Chuck here from Garden Spot Acres. Finally got a cool day after about two months of hot, humid weather. We got another project planned for you today. I think you're going to like it. It's going to be pretty handy in the garage. Hey, before we get started on our project today, I'd like to go a shout out to Neil Granger in Ireland. How you doing, Neil? Hope everything is good with you. I'm looking forward to seeing some photos put on my Facebook page. Don't forget them. And I also like to say hello to Dash to Sonic. He's been encouraging me since the beginning of my channel last year. Dash, I'm not sure who you are, but I'm pretty sure I know you. Thanks again, Dash. Okay, for our project today, you guys are going to need one of these furniture dollies. You can pick these up at Harbor Freight with a coupon for $12.99. They're the best deal ever. I mean, these are heavy-duty um, furniture dollies. If you haven't seen these yet, they got four heavy casters on them. They're made out of hardwood. They're carpeted here on the um, surfaces. And they're just handy. I saw me use one of these on this project over here, the smaller size. Okay, they have two sizes. My portable parts cart. I'll leave a link to that video. Go you know, right up above here, right above. A link to that video. And then they have the larger size that's one I have propped over here. So the smaller size you can get for $7.99. The larger size you get for $12.99 with a coupon. Now, what are we going to need in our project? We're going to need one of the dollies. You're going to need to go out and purchase the dolly, of course. Then you need five eight-foot two-by-threes. Right. Pick through the pile, find the best ones, make it look nice. So you're going to need five eight-foot two-by-threes. And from those five eight foot two by threes the first one you're going to cut a 28 inch a 28 and two 18s from it the second one you can cut a 38 a 38 and an 18 the third and fourth ones just cut five 18s out of each and on the fifth one you're going to cut three 18s there's going to be a little bit of waste here but not that much so for the price of a dolly and five eight foot two by threes, a little bit of wood glue and some deck screws, you can have a pretty handy little item. My cut list is gonna be a little bit different. You guys are gonna be using two by threes if you, if you like what my cut list says. I'm gonna be using up some two by fours for part of this project. So as I have some scrap here that I just want to get rid of, all right? So I'm going to use two by threes for the framework of it, and I'm going to use two by fours for the floor of it.
Okay, got all my cut pieces here. Again, I'm only using, let's see, two, four, six. I've only got 16 pieces plus the dolly. Because I'm using the two by fours for the base of it. You'd be using two by three, so you'd have a few more pieces. All right, I got my two 38 inch pieces here laid out on my dolly. I just want to make sure I'm flush with the wood here and not the carpet. The carpet kind of sticks out a little bit. That's good. That's good there. Make sure I'm kind of even with the front wood and not the, not the carpet. That's good there. Swing this around. And all right, now let's see what I got between those. Uh, Seventeen and like three quarters. A little less than 17, maybe 17 and 5 eighths. That's fine. My cross pieces here, my floor, I can overhang them a little bit. So it just covers up so it doesn't have that look to where it's like real close. All right, I'm going to start on the back, put my base from the back to the front. Now the back has the overhanging members here. You can see them here. Okay. So I'm going to start on the back. That way if I have... I'm gonna have a little overhang in the front, so I'm not worried about that. It's gonna dress that up a little bit. So I'm gonna come off the back here. I need 35 inches for mine. You're just gonna come off the back here approximately one and three quarter inches. Basically what you need, one and three quarters, okay? I'll just check this here. All right. You got our first one on. Now we're just going to put the rest of them on like this. And I'm going to use a little wood glue on the rest of those.
and you would be if you follow my cut list you'd be using two by threes here instead of the two by fours I just like to use up materials if I have them hanging around you know from other projects instead of sitting around forever I'll use them up on the first thing I think of if I can use them I'll be back with you as soon as I get the rest of these on. Okay, see you in a few minutes. All right, got the deck on. Looks pretty good. Now, when I got to the front, I have a little bit remaining here because these two by fours are running in their width. They're all not three and a half inches, but that's okay. I can dress this up with a, a three quarter inch board across the front to give me a little lip on the front of my cart, or I can just leave it like that. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that because it's not that critical, All right? But what you do need to remember though is on the back, you do want at least an inch and a half. I went an inch and three quarters. I'd, be, I'd rather be a little bit long than a little bit short here on the back, All right? So that's why I started on the back here to make sure I had what I needed back here for my handle, okay? So the next step is gonna be build the handle then we'll attach the handle to the cart. If I haven't shown you yet, I'm using nine by two and a quarter inch deck screws. All right, now for the handle. We got two of our 28 inch pieces and we have two of our 18 inch pieces. Now what I'm gonna do here is just, I'm gonna put the first one, I'm gonna do the top of the handle first, okay? Put a little wood glue on there. Let's go that way with it. A little bit of wood glue. Flush it up on the side and on the top. I'm gonna put one screw in it first. Then I'm gonna take my square. Then we'll square it up. And a little wood glue on this side. And I'll make sure that one's square before the second screw goes in. We'll flip this around. Now my second cross piece has to be an inch and a half from the bottom. That's good. So there's my handle. Hey, the handle's assembled. Let's come back over here. All righty. Run a bead of glue on there. I'll put some here. And we'll put some here. Oh, 
don't know, this box of screws doesn't seem very sharp. Kind of annoying. Okay, we got those screws in. I'm gonna turn it on its side carefully. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab a few four inch screws. You don't have to, but I have them. You could continue using the same screws that you were, but I have a few of these left. I'm gonna go up from the bottom. Okay, we have the cart put together. This is very sturdy. Okay, the way this is built down here, you have it like staggered here. So you have screw up from the bottom, you got screws into here, and you also have screws that way. And it's all glued. That handle's going nowhere. What a handy little cart. I'm gonna take this outside now, put it up on sawhorses. I'm going to get the sander out. We're going to do some sanding on it. And then we're going to finish it up with some paint. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish my cart with Plasti Dip in the flat black. See, this is a nice durable finish. So if you're expecting to peel this off later, forget about it. Okay, I'll come back to you when this is all done. We'll take a look at the finished product. GoPro, stop recording. Hey, she's all finished. This is how I plan on using my handy little cart. I got a charger back here, battery booster, car starter. I got a two gallon air compressor on the front. I'll leave a link right above for the um, review on this fortress. That's from Harbor Freight. Nice little unit right there. Hey, thanks for coming along on the video today. I appreciate you guys watching my videos and using your valuable time to watch them. Hey, if you could, could you please share this video with your friends and families, anybody else you think might be interested? I love to read comments, so if you could comment, that'd be great. If you could hit that like button, that'd be super also. Thanks for coming along. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram at Garden Spot Acres. I put videos out every Wednesday and Sunday at 6 a.m. Go to my playlist at my channel, Garden Spot Acres, and look at over a hundred other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks again for coming along. 
I appreciate your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.